What is up guys, Rats here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a change, and it is a big change. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to be doing um, optical flares and focusing on that. I'm going to go into depth on where, well, what's the easiest way to just kind of like keep the flare in one position and stuff like that. Um, I am editing a leftover series in case you didn't realise, because this is a bit of an old school shot. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, I just wanted to quickly resolve an issue that happened in like the thir first episode. Um, when you start up Premiere Pro, because um, these this tutorial one, this whole tutorial series, uh, it kind of just goes through After Effects and Premiere Pro. Um, but um, yeah, when when I, when I first started out, when we, when uh, I showed you guys what sequence to pick, this AVC HD preset, uh, not a lot of you guys actually had it. So. Um, I'm pretty sure the way to get it is, um, I know a lot of people out there, um, they don't exactly pay for their programs, I'm not saying if I do or not, um, but uh, yeah, if you, if you don't pay for your program and you don't, and you pretty much like crack it or whatever and you don't put it in a serial, it's not going to actually like activate the uh, full version, which doesn't activate these presets, so if you do get Premiere Pro, um, like if you're trying to get it for free or something, you're gonna have to put a serial in, so somehow you're gonna have to find a way to get a serial um, in order to do it um, and activate these presets. But if not, I'm sure you can. I'm sure there's a preset here that you can kind of. You could probably just make one anyway, just go into settings and just change it to whatever frames per second. But I just use the ABC one. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna be working in Premiere Pro, so I'm just gonna exit off that. Uh, any background noise, by the way? I'm at a friend's house, so it's probably him. <laughs> he hit his knee on the fucking table. Anyway, right, so straight away we're just gonna, I've, I've, I've obviously, uh, just to save some time, I've just quickly edited the Twix star and the Garshan Blur, um, just on this bit here. Now what I want to do is I want to, when, you, when you're editing a clip, obviously if you want to make it look a bit nicer, you might want to add like a flare of, of some sort, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a flare around about in this area here. So I'm just going to go into the comp, <coughs> and add a new adjustment layer. You could do it on a black solid, but I tend to just use uh, adjustment layers. Then go to Video Copilot. Once you've installed the plugin, um, it's a Video Copilot plugin, so just just Google it, and I'm sure you'll find a way to get it if you catch my drift. Um, yeah, so just click on Optical Flares, and then go to Render Mode, um, and put it over Original. And as you can see, it's just over our over our footage. You can move it around any way you want. You can you can move away, uh, around the the bottom part, you know, I don't even know what it's called, but this part as well, um, but yeah, there's loads of different um, things you can do, you can obviously change like the motion blur, the render mode, as I've, as I've just said, um, the custom layers and all that, you can just kind of, you know, you can go through them and have a look yourself, um, there's just loads of different things that you can play around with just to make your flare look really nice, um, I'll get into some of these in a bit, but um, yeah, just click on options, and it's going to bring up this um, kind of optical flare interface type thing and um, I'm pretty sure like any way you install this optical flare plugin they do give you some presets um, which Video Copilot have made uh, just preset flares and stuff I tend to use um, this one if I'm just going for a basic you know nice looking flare it's called Evening Sun uh, it's in the light folder um, but yeah you can, you can play around this bit here is pretty much all of your layers inside your inside your flare so you know you can shut it off you can shut it back on uh, you can change the color of certain flares and whatnot uh, it's, it's kind of easily adjustable um, you know all of this bit here is the obviously the editor of whatever uh, whatever layer you pick over over here is where you where you want to change like the brightness or the scale or whatever um, but what I tend to do as long as like the colors good you know the global color you can kind of change a little bit if you wanted um, but I kind of you know I like the evening sun effect uh, so I'm just going to keep it orange and then I'm going to go to lens texture um, and you can actually kind of give it like a I'm not really sure what to call it just like a well I guess it is a lens texture but I didn't really want to say it that way um, I don't know what I'm on about but anyway yeah you can just change the illumination radius so it's like feathered around the edges you can change it to say dirty this is the one I, I tend to use a lot um, you can obviously put the, the brightness up and make it amazingly bright uh, or you can you know just put it really faint it's up to you whatever you're um, gonna go for I guess it's just personal preference um, but yeah I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna give it a bit more um, just show it off a little bit more um, maybe turn the brightness down a little bit uh, to 45 or something 
Um, then just click OK and it obviously changes your flare and inside the comp now you can see uh, your flare. So I'm just going to put this um, center position, um, the bottom kind of adjustment, uh, just like into the middle. And now I'm going to work on trying to keep this keep this flare in one position. Now I'm just going to shut it off by clicking the effects bit. It, it shuts it off, but you can actually uh, add keyframes and stuff while it's off. I just think it's easier while it's off. Um, but the, pretty much, like the easiest way of doing this, I think, if you're editing COD, uh, you know, Call of Duty clips and whatnot. Um, there's probably there might be easier ways out there, but the easiest way I find to do it is you want to click on the effect in the effect panel, and obviously you see this top. I'm just going to zoom into it. This top like circle adjustment. That every time I move it, if you can see up here, it's every time I move it, the figures are changing. So obviously that's moving the position of it. So um, you kind of just want to not every frame, but every 10 frames, every 5 frames or so, you kind of just want to keep, make sure that this circle here is in the same position that it was 10 frames ago. So, for example, if I wanted it right here on top of this lamp post or whatever the fuck it is, um, you know, I'm going to hit the I'm gonna hit the stopwatch on position X and Y right at the start, and then I'm going to move 10 frames over and make sure it's still on top of that lamp post. Now, obviously, you're going to have to change it. I actually think it's an electric what's in the jiggy <laughs> I don't know what it is but um, yeah every 10 frames should be good as long as it's not um, not like really um, you know if it's fast movement for example I'm gonna move over to when I actually like jump and hit the shot um, obviously if I go from 10 frames here like say on 50 frames right here I hit a, I, I key over to the top of the lamppost I'm just gonna call it a lamppost even though it's not um, I can't think of the name right now, but anyway, if I uh, moved over 10, 10 frames, obviously it's I'm gonna put it over there, and if I go back five frames, it's probably not gonna be on that lamppost because it's just such fast movement. You see, if you watch it slowly, it, it's like all over the show. So at moments like that, where it, there's quite a lot of movement in your footage, you obviously want to do it kind of frame by frame or something like that. It is, it's not a long process, but. Um, it's seriously worth it if you want to get some nice flares. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll come back when uh, I've I've positioned it up and stuff. All right, so I'm back and I've uh, keyframed up the uh, the flare. Obviously, when you when you aim it through the scope, if whatever shot it is, obviously when I aim through the scope, I kind of want to sh uh, set off the flare. Um, you know, if I was to turn it on, it would be kind of over this black area, which doesn't really make sense if you think about it. So uh, I'm just going to shut it back off, and when I aim in, if your clip is like an, an aim in shot or whatever, um, you just want to select a keyframe on the on the brightness, uh, click U on your adjustment layer, so it comes up with all the all the uh, keyframes. And you just kind of want to keyframe it at 100 just before you've scoped in, and then as you're scoped in, you just want to set it down to zero so it's not there anymore. Um, so if we quickly just give that a quick preview. You know, at the moment, the flare's a little big. I'm gonna set it down in a second, but as you can see, it just you know it just disappears as I aim in, which is cool. Um, but obviously, I want to turn it back on as I unscope. So um, you know, just click click on the uh, there's like a diamond button here, it just sets another keyframe at whatever the number is, like the same value, um, you know, it goes from 100 to 0 there, and at this point it's still at 0, um, and then obviously when you're fully unscoped or whatever, uh, you can just kind of set it back up to 100, which is good, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm German, um, <laughs> well, I've twixted it around about this point, which obviously the lamppost or the electric, whatever the fuck it is, um, it's obviously behind the wall, so I obviously want to set it back off again. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to set it at 100 and then just set it back to zero at this point. So it's so it's just not in front of the wall, it's just still behind it and whatnot. Um, I'm going to scale down. Um, I'm just going to go over a few of these um, little tweaks that you can do to your flares to make them look a bit better. Um, I'm going to scale mine down just because it just looks too big and when you do add a colour correction, uh, depend, well, depending on your colour correction, um, it can make the, the flare, you know, like, I think twice as big or something stupid like that. So I'm going to set mine down just to something like that. Um, you know, it, it should look okay when I've added the colour correction. Um, but also, the animation evolution, I'm not actually sure what that does. Um, if I, you know, if you turn it on, 
it doesn't actually seem to do anything. Um, you can obviously change the t color mode from tint to multiply if you want. Um, the rotation offset, you know, you can fiddle around with any way you want the flares just to be rotated or whatever. Or whatever. Um, you can, if you want as well, keyframe the center position, which is like the bottom part of the lens, or this bit uh, right over here. Um, but because, you know, it, oh, hello. Um, because this is just such a basic flare and I actually don't want to do that, I'm just going to keep it right in the center. So it just kind of moves moves where the where the center position does. Um, a good, a good effect I like to use, you know, ignoring the position mode and all that. Um, if you go into flicker and click on the down arrow, um, you just want to make sure it's on smooth and you want to change your speed roughly to uh, 65 or something. Um, you can obviously twerk this or twerk, oh my god, I can't stop saying that word now that I've seen that twerking video. Um, <laughs> tweak it a little bit. Um, you know, it's just personal preference, whatever. It just pretty much makes your flare, flare flicker. Um, so if I just quickly round preview that. As you can see, it's just like flickering. Uh, let me just show you guys here. Yeah, as you can see, it's just flickering, which is quite a nice effect, and it does make it a lot more realistic. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's obviously up to you to whatever, um, to however you want your flare to be. Um, you can also make your, if you go back into options on this, uh, in this optical flare um, interface, you can obviously make your own um, custom presets and stuff if you want, you know, just it's up to you obviously. Um, but yeah, there's there's just so many in here which is it's just such a good job from Video Copilot to make something like this because the, the lens flares that are built into After Effects are just so bad. So it's obviously great to have like an advanced um, type thing. But if I go into the other composition which I showed at the start, uh, where I've twixted it and I've added the Gaussian blur and the impact type effect, if I add my color correction and just shut that on, as I was saying, you know, the the flare, if you watch the flare as I switch uh, the color correction on and off and on, it obviously it does go bigger. Um, so if you're using like a color correction that does that, you might just want to like change the, the scale of the optical flare. But if uh, I just round preview it now and show you guys what it looks like as the end product. Um, or the end. It's not a product. It's not a thing. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, if I just show you guys this, um, it looks pretty good. You know, it's it's tracked in the same spot. It's it's pretty nice. I'm, I'm probably actually going to use this um, for for the episode. You know, I'm not going to tweak it a little bit, I'm, I'm just going to keep it as it is, because it is a leftover, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it, it does look pretty decent like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it, that's all I can really teach you guys. I don't actually know much about optical flares myself, that's just pretty much what I do when uh, <laughs> I'm making my effects and stuff, but um, yeah, um, expect a lot more tutorials in the future. I know I've said that in previous tutorials, I've not done any for months. Um, but I'm actually kind of trying to get back into YouTube and all that stuff and anyway let me know what you want to know um, let me know what you want to learn next episode yeah I said that right um, and yeah just like and comment if it helped goodbye bye that was Liam Today,